I'm Martin Howe, the chairman of HME Technology and an industrialist since 1976. I have some concerns over the new proposed schools assessment regime named Progress 8, where it demotes the subject design and technology to an option, when in reality it is the cornerstone of the making subject and it is the only subject that includes science, technology, engineering and maths in the practical and theoretical form. Today I'm going to visit the Hayesfield Girls' School in Bath who have strong local industrial links including the James Dyson Foundation. Nigel, I believe design and technology encompasses all disciplines of science, technology, engineering and maths with an emphasis on practical skills. Do you agree? Yes, I think that science and maths often teach a lot of theory and knowledge. We actually apply it in technology. So we make it real to the students. They wow. suddenly say, I can see why I've learnt this in science. I can see why I learnt this in maths. So it adds um, importance to those subjects as well as technology. In schools, you have different departments of science, maths, technology. How do you bring these disciplines together at Hayesfield Girls' School? We have, and we have had, Dis, um, discrete STEM lessons which are outside of the maths, the technology and the science lessons so teachers together delivered STEM lessons which incorporated all three. We also do a period six so at the end of each day, four days a week, we have additional extracurriculum activities that can involve maths, technology and science working together. So the sixth one for example have had an enterprise project where they've been designing and manufacturing products to sell, there's the economics of the business, so we work together that way as well. So that's right. just two examples. Okay. You're working with the Sir James Dyson Foundation, and it's my view as an industrialist that businesses should have a greater role in schools, but sometimes feel distracted by this vital link. What is your view? I think if the students who are working with industry, they think actually this is real, this is a real world, Thing. This matters outside of school, inside, so it makes the subject far more, um, it raises the profile of the subject. Uh, there are things we can learn from industry. They often get new technology before us. Uh, the Dyson Foundation has helped us to invest in materials and new equipment, so that's been a benefit as well. Um, I'm from industry. I was a design engineer, so I know what industry want. So I've got a different approach to perhaps somebody who's been a teacher and a technology teacher and nothing else. 